Okay, guys. So IPv4 is a connectionless protocol, as we discussed in the last video, and it uses something called as a datagram approach. Now, the datagram approach basically tells that instead of having the entire packet sent one at a uh, like the entire packet at once, you send only a piece of the packet at a time. Now, other than that, the protocol do not actually force a lot on this protocol. For example, if I'm going from point A to point B, okay, a particular packet of one MB, all the features same as another packet, okay, packet one can take this particular path and packet two can take this particular path. Just because I know what the destination and the host for a particular packet is, I cannot assure you the path it will take, the time it will take, the number of hops it will take. It, I just know that, okay, it will go from A to B. And if there's something wrong with it, I'll get an error message for it, okay? That's the entire approach. And that is called as the datagram approach, okay? So that particular thing uh, adds one more limitation here that since not all the things are controlled by the IP protocol, most of the things, most of the services that it provides depends on high level protocols. One of, or two of them are ICP, uh, ICMP and IGP protocol, but that is not all. There are a lot of other protocols that it depends on to do the basic services that it provides. Okay. Uh, other than that, the datagram format. Okay. There's two different things. This is an approach. This is a format. Okay. So the datagram format is basically that once you have got the data and the address where you have to send this thing, how do you put it into that framework that you all must have memorized for your college exam? What are all the different fields in here? What is the meaning of each of these fields? And why do you need to understand the working of each of these fields? What happens if one of them is not working or one of them is missing? Okay, so that particular format in which I have everything, the particular size of that, what is the value, what type of value I'm saving, all the versions, everything has to be put in a particular template. That template is called as datagram format. Now, these packets uh, are called as datagram, okay? Uh, each of these have two components. One is the header and one is the payload. So most of the diagrams you will see, uh, you'll only discuss about the header because the payload is something that varies as per the, like what sort of message are you sending? If you are sending a particular picture, if you are sending a particular video, if you are sending some sort of a text, if you are sending a database file. So this particular thing is not relevant to the network engineer. Your keyword or the IPv protocols keyword is dealing with this header data, which helps it propagate from the source to the destination okay so most of the times you'll we'll discuss only about the header data at some of the places we have seen that uh, instead of the header data and it's not very common to say that they use the word metadata there okay metadata is nothing uh, fancy it's just that metadata is data about the data so this is my data and i'm telling about that data here okay it's not entirely correct because most of the metadata terms uh, have no uh, details as much as headers but since it captures the length of the uh, total data and a couple more features about the data that it's handling, you can see that it's kind of a metadata, okay? Now, we'll discuss mainly about this particular header file or the header uh, component that comes into this particular datagram's header portion, uh, and that varies from 20 to 60 bytes, okay? Uh, depending on how much uh, details we have to store in that particular version, but minimum of a 20 uh, bytes is already there. So uh, this is basically how it looks. Uh, the IP protocol has the header uh, of about 20 to 60 bytes, this portion, and the rest of it is the data. Now, there's a cap on this particular data, and that is 65536. Uh, 65, and if you convert it into uh, megabytes, you will see it's close to 4 MB, okay? So what you have here uh, is basically that I can send only a limited number of uh, files or limited number of bytes in a particular data program. But this particular area, this particular region, all of this is this 20 to 60 bytes. Okay, and this is where all our discussions will actually go on. Uh, this is the version, this is header length, services, total length, identification, flags, fragmentation offset, time to live, protocol, header checksum, source IP address, destination address, and of the options. Okay. All of these things are what make the IP protocol work, okay? There's a big packet which is there for 6.4 or 6.5K bytes approximately. And this particular packet needs to be delivered to the right address. And how that will happen or what are all the information that are needed for that, that is stored in just these 20 bytes, okay? So in the following video, we'll discuss about each of these components, uh, skipping some of them because that is something we'll deal a little bit more uh, detail. Uh, but most of them we will cover in the very next video.